So here we are looking at my chicken tractor or chicken ark. As you can see, it's home to three hens. There's two sort of cross um, brown meat egg layers. And then there's one fancy white chicken, a Lackenwelder. And you can see that it's a half circle and it's about eight feet long. There's two wheels at one end. That's the coop end. And then at the other end, you can see we have a little door and we also have a handle that can be moved so the door can be opened. And that door is just big enough so I can squeeze through if I have to get inside there to get an egg. Um, and I keep their water right at the end there so I just have to open up the door and grab their water to change their water out. So it's really easy. Now, it's built mostly on a base of two by fours. So it is pretty heavy, but it's not that bad. And the netting, I guess you could call it, that I use over top, the grid, is actually used in landscaping. And it's a really strong black plastic material. And then just for extra protection, we added a layer of chicken wire down at the bottom, just so anything should they happen to get through that black plastic, uh, they're fumbled by the chicken wire. You can see the girls in there. They're very happy chickens. And what we do is it's considered pastured poultry. So we move this every few days onto new grass. And we have a lot of grass over here, so it's no problem to do that. And it's nice because it's much easier to clean. Um, we just let the rain wash out. And uh, you can see here I have our food bin. And behind that I always have a jug of water so I can fill up their water whenever. And on the coop side, it's actually just a tarp that's over top. This isn't really heavy duty. And then I have a double door on the coop side with a tricky latch so hopefully nothing can get in there. And we're just going to open her up and I'll show you the inside. So here's the inside of the coop part. It's about two feet long and you can see it's double story. So there's the ground floor and down there I have their container of food and it's nice because then the food doesn't get wet. And uh, as well, there's their roost. It doesn't work very well for my big chickens, unfortunately, so that's going to need to be changed around. Uh, underneath their roost, I actually have a piece of old vinyl flooring, which is great because it makes it easy to clean up all the droppings, just take it out and dump it in the compost. And then I have a nest box over on this side, just made it out of an old fruit crate. Put some straw inside. There is also a dummy egg inside, just a plastic egg. And I put it in there, of course, to try and get them to lay in the nest box, which doesn't always help or doesn't always work, but nonetheless, it helps sometimes. Just gonna close it back up so my chickens don't escape. Their wings aren't clipped. So they do fly everywhere. Now it does work really well, three seasons at least. Uh, in the winter time, we are going to put this aside and use the old big sturdy coop, which is gonna be a lot warmer and a lot more weatherproof for them. So there you have it, pastured poultry for just three chickens. So far, so good.